accomplish that uh, lofty task, I decided to perform it in a slightly uh, um, questionable Scots accent. So if you can imagine, go scrotum. No one's ever shouted that before. Fantastic. Um, Bollocks, yep, I've heard that one. Um, okay, so this is to a scrotum. Och, rough silk puffs. The purple fear, surrounded by yon pubic hair. It is my nebulist intention, or you here to mark a mention. For in verse I he detected, you go lost and disconnected, oh. Waspy, baldy friend of mine. <laughs> Say it is true that all should hear of your kind work and nibble cheer, unlike yon William, thy companion, <laughs> ere jumping into canyon. Nay, humble, godly, meek, and wise, a dangling dune between my thighs. <laughs> oh, strangely textured friend of mine. At first you are an empty vessel. Yet to grasp hormonal nettle, then drop down your twa fine pearls. Vanguard the coarse and wiry curls, and then too soon push comes to tug. Your progeny lays on the rug. <laughs> In youth you are a factory, producing with fluidity, along with grunting commentary, beneath the damp teenage duvet, a fine and fertile clinging spray. Sometimes, a dozen times a day. <laughs> In manhood comes your finest hour. Och, well combined with female power, the ovum breach, the work begin, the cells divide, the angels sing. You found your place, you reached your goal. My friend, you helped to who's a soul. In age, my friend, your beard turns grey. A clang ye stretch, but on ye stay, a burr upon an ancient tree, recounting tales of chivalry, content to dwell on just a thrill, or wait on yonder, we brew pill. Aye, tis strange to think, my dear old chum, in age how like we two become both gnarled and grizzled, we depart the pastures new, the march we start, see, thanks again, a uh, heed the time, a uh, waspy, baldy, strangely textured, shapey, shifting, well protected, true, and stinting friend of mine, T, a scrotum. Thank you. Yes, here's a, here's a little piece which is uh, it's kind of a bit like that uh, dog shit poem in the sort of style it's delivered. Um, and it's about, uh, it's about all that shit that's going down over in, you know, wherever it is. It was such a wonderful day, it was such a lovely blue sky, to be welcoming guests from abroad. We were all so beside ourselves, so cock a hoop and I swear not a drop, but been poor. They arrived in a coach, a such a sight to be seen, were enclosed from a mountainous climb. Mrs. Ravelscombe fainted the moment they spoke. Mrs. Dodds declared, simply divine. They declined the ham sandwiches, very politely. Miss Duckham said, oh, silly me. And she was quite understanding of, of losing a hand and continued to pour out the tea. They declared a jihad on the couple next door. Heaven knows why they tried to resist. They were both disemboweled with a hedge-laying hook. So quite sadly, we cancelled the whist. And then Mrs. Arras, the artist, she showed them a nude and they cut off her leg with an axe. Oh, such a violent reaction, how lovely, she cried as we sealed up the stump with hot wax. And then they set up a court near the old walnut tree and they put the whole village on trial. And Mrs. Norris, the gardener, helped with the hanging. And as usual, she managed to smile. And when they finally left, well, it all went quite flat, and the dead were let down from the tree. It was such a wonderful day, I will never forget, when the Taliban came to tea. Thank you.